hello everyone Lincoln here and welcome back to episode 6 of the FC Barcelona career mode. Last time out we finished with a massive win. If you haven't seen the last episode I highly recommend you go and check it out. But we did leave off on a 6-1 win last time. I've accidentally switched, but yes, we will be playing the Super Copper game against Asasuna today. We'll also be playing in the Copa de España against Sevilla. But in La Liga, we're fourth. We need to try and climb the ranks a bit. And maybe overtake the likes of Atletico Madrid, Real Betis and Bilbao. We're starting with a simulation game against... Um, uh, Las Palmas. I forgot who it was. I forgot who we were against. Anyway, let's just get into the sim. We win 2-0. Ferran Torres scoring twice. Brilliant performance from him. But we are going to see if any of our players can win the Player of the Month award as well because both Lewandowski and Rafinha have been nominated. And none of our players have actually won it yet in this career mode, so... Hopefully, one of our players can win it. Yeah, there you see Lewandowski and Rafinha. Have any of them won it? It's announced on the 5th. We've got an international offer from Croatia. Oh, wait, we've got youth scout reports that we'll do first. Is this the last of the month? It is. Of the month of the report. William Gillet looks quite good but Daniel Schmidt we're gonna leave him right two more to go Brazil Igor Fernandes 500k not bad and finally we have is it a bunch of stinkers I think it is yeah it is a bunch of stinkers Oh well, now it's time to see if any of our players have won Player of the Month. Okay, I'm not too bothered about that, mate. Have we? There's the team of the year, shortlist. Lewandowski has won it, of course he has. He's been on fire. There, there we go, Lewandowski has won a La Liga Player of the Month. Copa de España action. Hello everyone, At I don't mind admitting this is one of my favourite cities anywhere in Bijouin. the world. Seville, we're close to the centre. Here we go, Sevilla against I'm Barcelona. My partner, as always, we've rotated the team a bit since it's a cup game. Cup but we've still got some strong players Barcelona. in there. Well, because it's like severe. So, it's a bit of a myth, mishmash. Yes, there's a long way to You'll go, see. This is still a big game for both and teams. also, we do have our new La Masia graduate, Isidoro Rodriguez, on the bench. Because he looks really good. I think he's about 69 overall. And he's about 17. He's only come out of the youth academy. So he looks crazy good. But there is the starting 11 for Sevilla. Of course, Ivan Rakitic in there as well. One, one of the best midfielders in the history of Barca. And they've had some great names. So that says a lot. Ivan Rakitic, what a player in his prime. I mean, 2015. Rakitic was just unbelievable. But there is our side. With Iñaki Peña, Cancelo, Romeu, Inigo Martinez, Balde, Zubimendi, Pedri, Gavi, Moali Cho, Joao Felix, and Angel Alcaron, the golden boy. So, there we are. Let's get into it. Superb Felix plays it forward for Pedri. Back to Joao Felix. Joao Felix. Great goal. Come on. One nil. Brilliant start. 
to the Copa de España. Hopefully we can go all the way. It's certainly not raining far. So it's a brilliant start. Obviously straight knockout as well. So every game matters. Joao Felix. Brilliant goal, son. Corona. Pedri to whip it in. Inigo Martinez! Inigo Martinez! Two in very quick succession indeed. Oh. Well, well, well. well let's look at this again. It's a We're cruising. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly Brilliant header. And obviously a great cross as well from Pedri. Not the usual suspects. It's normally De Jong, Orofina and Lewandowski. But Pedri and Inigo Martinez. Mate, corners at Barcelona. We've been working on them in the training ground. You can tell. Plenty of support Golden here. boy and Hell Alcaran keeps going. Puts it into the box. There's Moali Cho. Poor shot. Cho looking to play it forward. Felix is making a run. Hits it off his chest and then his second touch is good too. Joao Felix. Amazing effort. Some brilliant dribbling there. But on the volley, it does go wide. Mo Ali Cho. Go. Go. Plays it. Alcaron. What a save. Golden Boy nearly had his goal. Pedri's going to take the corner. He's whipped it in, Inigo Martinez has his second of the game. Inigo Martinez with a brace. Our fourth choice centre back has scored two goals in the very same game. Remarkable. Nasseri and Nasseri. Could be through. What a tackle from Inigo Martinez. We are making some substitutions. So I so here. But Isidoro Rodriguez, the La Masia graduate, gets his debut. He's replacing Pedri. And then we are also bringing on Alex Garrido in place of uh, Gavi. It was Gavi, yes. Isidoro Rodriguez. The debut and this is brilliant dribbling. Oh, really Isidoro Rodriguez, finesse! Oh my God, how's he pulled that off on his debut? What? It's a debut goal for Isidoro Rodriguez. The next Leo Messi has been born. Oh, wow. That is pure well, class from Isidoro Rodriguez. Remember his name. Isidoro Rodriguez. Well, what an excellent performance this Keeps has been. going. Had complete control for most of the game. Their oh, it's so good. He is so good with the ball at his feet. Full time, 4 0. And the highlight of the game is, of course, Isidoro Rodriguez's debut goal. I think we may have found the next Lionel Messi. I'm not joking, because that, that finish was just impeccable. He feels so good on the ball as well, he's so fun to use. And I'm so happy we found that kid in the Youth Academy in La Masia. And well, when you've got an academy like that, they're the talent that gives you. Barcelona are known for producing these amazing talents. Isidoro Rodriguez will write his name among the top of that list. I forgot to send my youth scouts out, so they're going to be coming back on the 12th this time. And we are going to keep one scout in Spain, Ibai Jara. He's going to stay in Spain just looking for absolutely anything. Oh, sorry, the 9th. I thought it was the 12th. Right, our scouts are coming back on the 9th then. Um, 
I'm struggling as to where to send my next scouts. I think I might go for a cheeky African. We're gonna go to Nigeria for a technically gifted cam. Mm, that's what we're gonna do. And then I feel like we could get quite a good Croatian centre mid. So that's what we're gonna do. Spain, any Nigerian technically gifted Cam and a Croatian technically gifted central midfielder. Here we are for the um, well, Super Copa, the so Super Copa semi-finals, because it starts at the semi-finals and we've got four teams in it, the other two teams are Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid, but we take on Osasuna today and I've gone with an even more rotated lineup just because I want to put some faith in the new so far they've been quite good there is a few experienced players like you can see Christensen and Amigo Martinez we've also got Gundogan in there as well but the rest is just you, really. As you can see, with a front four of Isidoro Rodriguez, Angel Alcaron, Lamin Yamal, and Mo Ali Cho. That's such a promising front four. Yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. All of them are, I think, 19 and under. So, it shows the future is very bright for Barcelona. Isidoro Rodriguez. Still Isidoro Rodriguez. Wonderful movement. Lamine Yamal cuts it back to Cho. Great save, Alcaron. Keeps it alive. There's Gundogan. 1-0. Brilliant team goal from Barcelona. And it's Ilkay Gundogan who finds the back of the net. There we go, rotated side, still on fire. Really good cross, back in from Alcaron and just a superb volley from Gundogan. Isidoro Rodriguez. Nice rainbow flick. Isidoro Rodriguez. Nice turn. Isidoro Rodriguez. That was a great effort. Oh, brilliant from Oroth. Oroth! One all, Osasuna equalise. Ima Oroth with the goal to level the game up. And we're all square here in the cup. He's just absolutely sent Christensen. And then a good finish. In. Comes back out. Angel Alcaron, not far. Lamine Yamal plays the cross in. Alcaron to Cho. That definitely wasn't a scuffed shot. <laughs> it's fine, it's gone straight to Cho. And it's in the back of the net. Brilliant cross from Lamine Yamal. Not a great shot from Alcaron, but it's made a wonderful pass. Oh, anyway, Mo Ali Cho was there in the middle. Beautiful goal. 2-1. The youngsters of Barcelona are actually winning in a pretty tough game. Osasuna, of course, in La Liga. And... A decent side in there as well. And how Alcaron, he's going to hit one. Oh my god, it's gone in! What a goal from Angel Alcaron! The golden boy gets his golden goal. Come on! The curve on that strike. Oh wow! That is absolutely sensational. 
from Angel Alcaron. What a goal. I could look at that again and again. Osasuna have and got a corner. A Here's Barja to take it. Oh, it's gone in. Who's that? I don't know. It's the same guy that scored last time. It's a good header from the corner. Well, let's look at this and again. I'm gonna so make some subs and then what a great finish as well. just good with the because ball, I'm not feeling the... too comfortable. It's the 70th minute, 3-2. I am gonna make some reinforcements, especially at the back. So I'm gonna bring Kunde on at right back. Because we've got Trini there. So, yeah, I'm gonna bring Patreon as well. I don't want to bring any of these front four off because they've all been so good, but I'm going to have to. And I'm going to bring Angel Alcaron off, the goal scorer. Mm. Yeah, we'll stick with that. That's fine. Full time. There wasn't much action after the subs came on, but we have won. The youngsters have delivered. It's a 3 2 win. And yeah, Angel Alcaron with probably a goal of the season contender. I mean, it's one of the best we've had so far. I think that's definitely up there. But yeah, great showing from the youngsters. I'm really proud of them. And that's just convincing me to give them even more game time. The team of the year for 2023. Season 1 has been announced. Let's see if any Barcelona players are in there. In net, Mark andre Ter Stegen. Defence, I already see one. Cancelo with Hobandish. Ronald Araujo as well. And then uh, Di Lorenzo of Napoli. Midfield, De Bruyne, Rodri. But there's also Frankie de Jong in there. And then the two forwards are Erling Braut Haaland of City, obviously. And then Robert Lewandowski. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So nearly half of the team of the year are Barcelona players. That's really good. Xavi has not won manager of the year, but I'm okay with that. It's only my first half a season in charge. I feel like we're doing all right. Of course, we're fourth still, I think. Yeah, still fourth. But plenty of games to come we're only halfway through the season so there's a lot of time for that to change i'm actually going gonna go and show you all the individual stats for the season robert Lewandowski, 26 goals in 23 games absolute beast rafinha with 13 and 7 pedro with 5 and 8 ferran torres with 4 and 7 gavi with 3 and 3 Felix with three goals, Cancelo two goals, three assists, De Jong with 13 assists, crazy stuff, and there's just the rest of it. This man, I'm so excited for him to come back from his loan, because I'm going to turn him into a beast, trust me, but... Yeah, we've got a few decent players returning from loan, actually. Ansu Fati, of course. Serginio Dest. Julian Araujo. Eric Garcia. Longley will probably just get sh sold straight away, if I'm being honest with you. But, yeah, we've got a few decent players out on loan. I'm trying to loan out Ramon Gomez, but nothing's working right now. I'll let you know if we do manage to loan him out. Because he's quite a promising talent. Of course, he does have a few play styles on him as well, which I'm really excited about. Dead Ball, which in this FIFA is so overpowered. FIFA, EAFC. Power Header as well, which of course we see on Lewandowski. And we know how good Lewandowski is from corners. And then Whipped Pass as well would be quite useful on Ramon Gomez. Real Madrid beat Atletico Madrid in their game in the Supercopa. 
3-1. So now we have to face them. This is the team I'm going to go for. The normal team really. Obviously apart from Araujo who's still injured. That is our team. Let's get straight into it. At the Estadio Nuevo Los Carmenes. I think I've done quite well with that pronunciation. Here we are, Raul Gonzalez on the Tifo for Real Madrid. And it's a big, big game. And of course, the Super Copa all happens in such a short amount of time. So it's pretty crazy, but this is actually the final, so we could win a trophy here. Our first Barcelona. trophy as manager of Barcelona. Let's go and win it. Let, we'll try. Big game. We need a big result. Visca Barça. I know they said Forza, but that's Milan. Anyway, let's just get into it. Great from Kunde. Here's Pedri. Lewandowski's making the run. Lewandowski is through here. Robert Lewandowski scores. We're 1-0 up in the Supercopa final. Robert Lewandowski. Come on. Well, let's see this again. This is Pedri with a wonderful ball. Robert Lewandowski. Cool, calm, composed. He was all of those. Beautiful finish past Thibaut Courtois, who stood no chance with that finish. 1-0, massive goal in a massive game. Cancelo to Rafinha. Does really well. Rafinha could be in here. Rafinha! Oh, he's at the crossbar! Oh my god, Bellingham, Jude Bellingham brilliant, dribbling the shot, he hits the crossbar, both sides have hit the crossbar, now there's a chance still on though through Garcia, and now Valverde whips it in, Kundo deals with the danger, Immobile, Immobile to Brahim Diaz, and it's the equaliser. Nice, nice goal from Real Madrid. But it's not our proudest moment, that's for sure. Too much space for him on that flank, and it's just an easy finish there. Slides it under to Stegen. Not a lot of power, but it was the perfect finish in that situation, so. Really good play from Real Madrid and Brahim Diaz. Pedri. Pedri looking for the run of Rafinha. Can he get past Fran Garcia? No, but he's took it back off him and what a save from Courtois. Oh, wow. Courtois has just saved them. And Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo are coming on. That is a dangerous pair of subs. It's the 68th minute now and we're going to make some subs. Ferran Torres is going to come off. He's been good, but I just think we need fresh legs down on that wing. So Joao Felix comes on. And I'm also going to bring on Gundogan for Gavi. Also again, just for fresh legs really. Valverde, brilliant from Cancelo. Rafinha. Has Cancelo on the overlap. Joao Cancelo. Go on. There's Pedri in the middle. Pedri! Come on! Back in front. Barcelona 2, Real Madrid 1 right now. Okay. 15 minutes to go. And we could have our hands on the trophy. But we need to keep our heads for those 15 minutes. Not get too ahead of ourselves. Whew. Once the run from Felix. Gets the run from Felix. Brilliant move. And again. And again. 
but the shot was lacklustre. Rafinha on the other side. Rafinha! Great save from Courtois and he's kept us out again. Kana, De Jong, can we wrap the game up? Lewandowski! Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Robert Lewandowski scores the winner. Come on! Dives into a pool of Barcelona players. Wow! Brilliant stuff from Robert Lewandowski. And that has surely won us the Super Copper. Wow. And now we just need to hold on. Well, we're two goals up now, aren't we? So we've got a quite a nice cushion. And it's already added time. And Real Madrid don't really seem to want to go anywhere. Bellingham. Brilliant tackle. And there it is. There we go. Full time. We are champions. That was a very intense game. But we were too much for Real Madrid. And now we will lift the trophy. Mark andre to Stegen will lift it. Absolutely, and it will give and here are all our players, and here is that beautiful today. trophy and we've just won. So Stegen is going to lift it. A beautiful a moment. Our first trophy as manager of Barcelona. So comes just six episodes in well, and it is the Spanish Supercopa. Testegan lifts it high in the sky the and we're gonna have a quick team and photo. And then it's back to Memories being made but we're still fourth in the league so we need to turn our focus to that now. Of course, a great win, but still halfway through the season, so we've got to get back on track, keep our heads, and keep our amazing farm to the standard. We will be simulating this next game against Osasuna because it feels like we've played them 20 million times this season. So, yeah, this is the team I've put... Angel Alcaron in there to see how he does in the sim. We win 1 0 with Rafinha scoring the only goal of the game and getting an 8.6 match rating. So nice, we've picked up some more points and yeah, I mean, that's it, really, isn't it? Not much to be said about that. We move on to the game against Real Betis, who are top of the league. We're fourth, three points behind them, which of course means if we beat them, we will move ahead of them, because we do have a better goal difference than them. So, we're going to jump into that game. This will be the last game of the episode. Let's see how we do. Here we are, ready to take on Real Betis. Big, big game in La Liga. Yep, I like the to say it. Here we are. Big, big match to end the episode. And this could be vital in the title race both teams well and truly in it of course Real Betis currently at the top but we could change that we do have the opportunity to go top ourselves depending 
on the results of Bilbao and Atletico Madrid. You can see here William Carvalho, and here is the starting 11 for Betis, Rui Silva, Bellerin, Bartra, Scalvini, and Wagner, Carvalho and Guido Rodriguez, with Enrique Ayosi and Nabil Fekir, and then Evan Nilsson up top. Likes of Isco, William Jose on the bench as well. So two quite decent players on the bench as well. But here is the Barcelona the lineup. We Barcelona. have, of course, Marc Andre to Stegen well, in the net. Cancelo, Kunde, Christensen, and Balde. With Pedri, De Jong, and Gavi in Therefore, midfield. And the usual front three of Ferran Torres, Robert Lewandowski, and Rafinha. So let's get straight into it. Lewandowski to Gavi, Rafinha's making a run, brilliant turn, hits it, comfortable for Rui Silva, brilliant header, here's Lewandowski, ooh, good effort, Pedri, looking for Rafinha, Brilliant ball, Rafinha, Lewandowski, easy finish for him, but a brilliant team attack from Barcelona. And once again, it's this man finishing it off. You can't stop him. Rafinha, brilliant touch, takes it down, unselfish, squares it to Robert Lewandowski, and it was never in doubt, no chance for Rui Silva. And that is a 1-0. Onwards. Nice work. Here's Pedri. Great save. Lewandowski. Looking to hit it. It's off the bar. And Rafinha's there. Every time we hit the woodwork with an absolute wonder strike. It seems like Rafinha is always there. And that, to me, is just brilliant because he's always there, he's so quick to get to the rebound and he's just hungry to score the goals and to get involved. So Rafinha with the goal and it's 2-0. How many minutes have we played? 37. We're going to use this quick sub and we're going to bring on Joao, Joao Felix for Ferran Torres. It's still 2-0 in the 80th minute, so it's going quite well so far. Full time. We win 2-0. Quite a comfortable win as well. I felt like we dominated that game. And yeah. That is... A solid win. We overtake them. And B. That win takes us up to third in La Liga. We're only one point off Atletico Madrid and two points off Athletic Club Bilbao. So, the title race and title challenge for us is well and truly on. However, some little club called Real Madrid are sat down there in sixth. Yeah, don't think they'll be challenging us this year. They're not little at all, they've got 14 Champions Leagues. <laughs> anyway, next episode we will be playing our Champions League game against Manchester United. We've also got a couple of big cup and league games. We play Real Betis again, so we do end up playing them twice in a row. But, oh well. We won 2 the last time out, let's beat them again. So, that will be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, please leave a like, and maybe even subscribe. That would make my day. I, we're currently on 36 subscribers. I love every single one of you. But can we make that 37? Please. That would be absolutely crazy. Anyway, hopefully. Uh, I'll see you soon for another video. Bye-bye.